This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Bossom. I've got Brian Arliss with me. You are a board member and the treasurer at Kemphill Youth Centre in Kemphill. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Now, how long have you been a board member with the Youth Centre? About four years. When I arrived in Kemphill, I knew that this was a, a place where uh, the youth could go to, and I wanted to see as a teacher like what was there for them. And I volunteered for the first summer and saw what amazing programs they had available for the youth and uh, the opportunities for the youth to come for the youth to come in and, and have a change of pace from their home or school, uh, and meet other youth and, and be involved in the community. So I wanted to be a part of that as well. Not long after I joined the board of directors as well. Excellent. Can you talk a bit about the programs that go on at the youth center? There's always something for everyone uh, and the programming changes week by week uh, and the summer hours are uh, from 11.30 to 5.30, uh, Monday through Friday. That might change depending on the activities planned. So you can check us out on Facebook or the website and uh, see each week. Um, for example, this week there was some Canada Day celebrations uh, planned. That was last week. And then um, some uh, popsicle making, some fruity popsicles. Um, so there's a whole kitchen in the basement. There's a basketball court out back. Uh, arts and crafts, um, sometimes just hangout time. Um, there's there's always something to do and it's always fun uh, so it's great if, if the youth bring their friends and come with a group or they can just show up and meet some new people. And at the building that you're in it used to be a church too so you walk in and you either go downstairs to a beautiful you've got a beautiful kitchen area down there which was totally renovated uh, quite a few years ago if I remember correctly and then there's a, a room down there and then upstairs too it's just it's a beautiful space you've got areas for crafts you got areas for for uh, social time, you've got areas for uh, computers, everything up there. It's just a, an amazing, and it's a safe place. I like to say that about your youth center. It's a safe place. It is. Everyone's accepting. Um, everyone's there to support each other. Um, there's some great adults uh, helping out with our program manager and program coordinator. So there's people to turn to for help. Uh, and we're looking to just provide a lot of support for the youth and a, a fun place to go and a safe place to go. And it's like you say too, you started out as a volunteer and so often that that's how the board members get started is you start out as a volunteer, but you do have a lot of volunteers. People want to help out at the youth center in Kempo. We're always looking for help. Uh, it could be someone who starts up a homework club in September or someone who just wants to get out there and teach them basketball skills at a new basketball court. Um, so we're always looking for, for volunteers to come and help out and it's appreciated, um, both uh, volunteers who want to spend their time or their expertise or also uh, help through other ways like the financial donations, which is really helpful for us as well. I mean, financial donations, that's what we're going to talk about right now too, is uh, you've got a book sale going on. 20 years this book sale has been going on in the North Granville area, and it's phenomenal. There are books for everyone, just like the Youth Center has activities for everyone. There's books for everyone. Um, and really, we couldn't keep the doors open at the Youth Center without these kinds of events and the community support. So we appreciate everyone who comes out either to drop off books, help us sort the books out, or comes to buy a few books for their kids or a, a, whole new, a whole new library for their own house. So every little bit helps. And it is really a community event. Um, people look forward to it year after year. This is the 20th year. So it's a, it's a mainstay in the community. It's always the third weekend in August. So we're looking at August 18th in the evening. Um, all day August 19th and then Sunday morning August 20th. And what I find people doing too is like people load up on their books and then the next year they, they uh, donate them back and then they go up and they load up again too. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great chance to come uh, see some friends, uh, browse the shelves. We have everything organized by genre and different sections. There's a separate kids section, there's a gardening and cooking and self-help section and then there's the main floor with all the fiction and nonfiction you're guaranteed to find a book or two you love. And that in itself, the way you guys organized the room uh, with the books, they are all in different sections, so you know right to where, which section you can go to. That's a lot of work. It, it, <laughs> it takes some time and effort. Uh, the, the board members and volunteers, uh, some youth come out and help out. Uh, we spend some time in, in a shed uh, the weeks before sorting into different boxes. Uh, we get some help from B and H, the grocery store, uh, with their banana box donations. Um, we have some help from the the scouts at the end when we have to pack everything up and send it away, stuff that doesn't get sold. So it it really is a community effort, and we're appreciative of everyone who comes out. So we're we're taking donations uh, Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. 
and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon. This is at the Ferguson Forest Outlet Store on 275 County Road 44 in Kentville. So this is where you want to come up with your, your box of old books that are sitting there and drop them off for us, and we'll sort them out and get them ready for the sale uh, the third week of August. So bring your books by, uh, stop in and say hi. And, and on the 18th to the 20th, too, I mean, are you encouraging people to bring their own bags, too, I, I would assume? <laughs> for sure. Bring your own bags. We can have some boxes that we can help. We even have people who can help you load the, the books into your car. And you're absolutely you right. There are people filling boxes. There are. It's, it's a chance to get books for your kids, for your grandkids. If you're a teacher, you can get books for your classroom. There's, there's thousands of books and some great titles. And you know, when you walk through too, you, you find books that you forgot about even when from, you know, from your childhood and from your youth, that sort of thing too. You, you find everything. I, I, I'm terrible at estimating, but how big is the room? Would you say the room is that you're gonna have the book in, books in? Uh, I think we've had 50, 75 people in a, at a time browsing and, and there's a, always a steady flow of people oh, coming and absolutely. looking for books. And it, it's one of the huge warehouses too that you've got. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. So the, the dates again for the sale itself is August 18th to the 20th, but you're looking for donations now. Yeah, we're looking for do donations uh, Thursday evenings from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday mornings from 9 a.m. to noon. Now, you, ne you need some help? You need some volunteers for it? Yeah, if, if people came out those times, that's when we're collecting the books out of people's uh, cars and then sorting them into the different boxes. So we could use volunteers then as well. Excellent. Excellent. So how do people get a hold of you if they'd like to help out? Uh, they can con contact um, manager at kyc.team, I believe. That's the email of our manager, and, and she can help set up the, the time and the, the list of people. Okay, and if there's some youth out there that are listening right now, too, and they want to become involved at the youth center, how do they do that? So you can just come to the youth center. There's a, a form they'll fill out that uh, just gets them registered, and then it's a drop-in, really, so they could come for an hour. They can come for the entire day. Um, they can see what's on the on the program for the week and pick and choose which times to come. And then um, once they get in, they can see what's uh, available as far as trips or different uh, events that we have throughout the summer and they can even get signed up for that. All right. If anybody uh, is interested in helping out as well, too, they have a special skill maybe they'd like to help out. And, maybe, you know, I'm thinking, you know, sewing, uh, different languages, that sort of thing. If you want to come and help out with that sort of thing, could they do that? Certainly, certainly. They can, again, go to the, the website and contact the, the manager and, and offer their suggestions or their, their ideas for helping out, and you can find a place. Perfect, perfect. And the youth center is located on Oxford Street, I believe? That's right, yep. Yeah. It's uh, just in town. It's on um, Oxford Street West. Excellent. And yeah, the big building with the big sign that says KYC, and uh, all, all youth are welcome. It's a very welcoming environment and it's a safe place too. So I like to always encourage that too. I, I really appreciate your time today too, Brian. And we're talking about uh, the, the book sale, our annual book sale, 20 years it's been going on. I can't believe it's been that long too, but uh, 20 years and it's on August 18th to the 20th and it's at the Ferguson Forest Center. If you've got some books and you wanna donate them, you can drop them off there as well too. Thanks for joining us today, Brian. And thanks for everything you do at the Youth Center. Thanks so much for having us, Kathy. Take care and see you at the book fair. Will do.